so today I'm going to film a tutorial for you on how I do my victory rolls with my front bangs and if you would love to see how I do this please keep on watching so first what we're going to do is just grab our hairbrush it's going to brush all our tangles out of our hair so we can start doing our hairstyle so once our hair is all tangle free what we're going to do is we're going to take our rat tail comb so just a comb like this um, it's got an end here for making parts uh, and for teasing as well these are fantastic to have and they're only a couple of dollars so go out and grab yourself one of these because they're a fantastic tool to have so what we're going to do is we're going to make a part to the side now when it comes to victory rolls you can part down the middle, you can part to the side. I prefer to have uh, victory rolls that aren't symmetrical, so I always part down the side. So this is the side I usually go for. Excuse my incredibly bad roots. I am going to get my hair dyed and cut tomorrow. So once we have our part in our hair, you can choose to do um, something with your bangs. Now I don't have a fringe, I just have hair that's all the one length. But I generally, when I do victory rolls, I like to have um, my front barrel roll and then I'll do the victory rolls because I just, I feel I look a little bit funny without it. Um, so for this tutorial, I'm going to do a front barrel roll and I'll show you how to do the victory rolls. So going to take this first section so about an inch and a half back I'm going to run that across my head and when it gets to say the arch of my eyebrow I'm going to bring that down and that will be the section for my front section if you've seen any of my tutorials you've seen me do this a couple of times it's one of my favorite ways to wear my bangs just because they're so long and it gets them out of the way plus I like having something in the front of my face it gives me that I don't know it just makes my face look a little bit longer so at an angle like this we're going to start teasing the base of our hair so we want to tease it out half and that's just to give, it gives um, the bobby pins a really great base to hold on to. So when you do the roll, um, this structure uh, is going to be on the outside. So it's going to hold its shape and it's going to stay in place when you start your bobby pins. It doesn't want to um, slip out and do anything to show you. So we've got a bit of Top. I'm just going to run my comb over just to make it a little bit smoother. Just to get all those ends in together. So this is the top, this, this top section, that's what we're going to see when we do our roll. So you want it to be fairly neat, you don't want it to be all matted and messy. So once we've got that, we're going to add an angle, grab around two fingers like this start rolling our hair. So once we've formed that roll, which you can see here, we're going to start rolling this towards our head. I've got a couple of straggly bits and you just tuck those away. And once we get to this point, let's grab some bobby pins and pin that in place. One goes in the front and then one in the back, and then you should be able to let go. So, give that a quick spray. One got a hairspray. So, grab a couple more, and we just want to anchor that down now. I did was I pulled 
pull the curl this way, which forms this peak up here, and start fanning out the roll and down. And you get your pin and you push the pin down and that should hold it in place. So, so far I've only got three bobby pins in. I'm going to put another one in just for some stability. So that is the front of our hairstyle. If you have another way of doing it, say you want to put some Betty bangs in or you have a fringe, that's also fine. This is just how I usually style it. So we should still have our side part here. So I'll start with the short, with the smaller side. Because like I said, I do like my victory rolls to be uneven. So just from behind our ear, I'm just going to get my finger, take it up to the crown of my head. And then I'll just section that hair over onto this side. Now this is going to be our victory roll here. So this is the section that I'm going to use. I'm just going to brush it out and make sure there's no tangles. And brush it back up at an angle. So then I'm going to get my rat tail comb again. And I'm going to do some more back combing, so just teasing it, giving it that base. And then brushing it over to make sure the top of it is smooth. Okay, so then around two fingers again at an angle. Sorry, my hair's so long it goes off the frame. So around two fingers, we're going to start wrapping your hair around to form that loop. So the loop should look like that. So I've got some layers in my hair, so I have to start tucking bits as I roll. So we're going to roll this at an angle away from our head. And as we roll, as we get closer to our head, we're going to twist that roll and place it and that will help it lay better, like flatter to our head at the back. My battery is about to die, unfortunately. I'm just going to pin that in place. have our first roll. So we're going to take the other section to make the other roll. So again from behind the ear we're going to take this section all the way up to where the other section ended. So we've got a bigger, this bigger section of hair here and that will be our larger roll. Alright so again we're just going to repeat the steps that we did on the other side. So just back combing this section, making sure you've got a good tease in there. I always find that when you do doing victory rolls or really any sort of vintage style hair, unless you're doing, say, a, a wet set curl set, um, it always works better on say second and third day hair so just having that little bit of um, texture to your hair it really really does help doing these hairstyles like that uh, with with dirty hair just because it does help it hold in place so I've just formed that that second roll I'm just gonna roll this back down to my head the base of the head and when I get closer to this one, when I get close to the scalp, I'm just going to twist it and place it. So then I have that there. We're just going to pin it in place. And that is it for the victory rolls. So what you can do with the remaining hair is you can either leave it out, you can curl it. I sometimes like to put it in a side ponytail like this. Sometimes I like to put it in a bun, so wrap it around my hand and twist it up and then pin that in place. 
and that just gets it up off my neck especially on those really hot summer days because it does get really hot here and my hair is quite thick so there are endless options that you can do with the rest of your hair um, if you wanted to do with bigger thicker sections for your victory rolls then by all means uh, do that I just find that for me because my hair is so thick these uh, and long um, these sections are the most manageable for me so if my hair was shorter or finer I'd probably use a lot more or all of my hair to do the victory rolls but this is just what works for me so just experiment with how much hair that you need for your rolls and have fun with it I mean I like mine off center you might like yours symmetrical you might like yours with um, front bangs or Betty bangs or you might not it's completely up to you so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video bye I hate, hate, hate doing the whole thing at least I'm not waving like a two-year-old like I apparently do thanks Sophie My only weakness, blah! What, what? What, what? And the butt. Oh, I think I need a break. A little break? Okay.